Hi, Gullet Kindergartners. Today, I'm going to be reading you a book that falls under our character trait of gratitude. I'm going to be reading Being Thankful by Mercer Mayer. Being Thankful by Mercer Mayer. Being Thankful. I stopped my scooter in front of the toy store. Wow, I wish I had a Speed Blaster ZZ scooter with silver wheels, I said. You already have a scooter, said my mom. It's not nearly as good as the Speed Blaster ZZ, I said. On our way home, we passed the movie theater. Boy, I wish I could go to the movies, I said. But we're going to watch a movie at home tonight, said my mom. We did watch a movie on our TV, but it wasn't nearly as good as going to the movie theater, even if we did have popcorn. Look at his grouchy little face. The next day at school, Gator was wearing brand new AR Flyer sneakers. I wished I had brand new AR Flyer sneakers instead of my plain old blue ones. At home, when it was little sister's turn to use the computer, I asked, when was I going to get a computer of my own? But you have a computer, said my mom. Sharing isn't as good as having your own computer, I said. Oh dear, little critter is really focusing on all the things he wished he had. It's making him feel sad. At dinner, I said, I wish we could go out to a restaurant to eat. I like having dinner at home, said my dad. Don't you wish we had a bigger house with a pool and an elevator, I asked. I like our house just the way it is, said my mom. As we were reading before bed, dad stopped the story and said, there are a lot of people who would love to have things like ours. You should be thankful for what you have instead of focusing on what you don't have. That is good advice, isn't it? Let's see if he takes it. On Saturday, Tiger's dad took us for a ride in his boat. I wish we had a boat, I said. Going on a boat ride is fun, said my dad. Not as much fun as a ride on your own boat, I said. The next day, our whole family went out for ice cream. The boy behind us got a giant ice cream sundae with whipped cream and a cherry on top. I wish I had a sundae instead of this boring cone, I said. But little sister bumped into me and I dropped my ice cream cone. Look what you did, I said. I wish I had a big brother instead of a dumb little sister like you. Wow. Little sister started to cry. Say you're sorry, little critter, said my mom. You didn't want your ice cream anyway. Wow. So little critter is not sad anymore. Now his feelings are out of control and he's mad. He's taking it out on his little sister. She did not deserve that. It was just an accident. The next day, I went to grandma and grandpa's farm. I helped grandma feed the chickens. See how happy the chickens are to eat their seeds, grandma asked. I smiled. Grandma was right. Next, I helped her feed the pigs. See how happy the pigs are to eat our leftover food, said grandma. Cute little piggies, I said, and smiled again. It felt good to make the farm animals happy. Then we picked blueberries. I wanted blueberry pancakes, but grandma and I made grandpa's favorite blueberry pie instead. That made grandpa happy. I wanted to pet white kitty, but then gray kitty jumped in my lap. So I petted her instead. That made gray kitty happy. After that, I wanted to watch TV, but instead grandpa played his ukulele and grandma and I sang along. That made everyone happy. Aww. What a wonderful time he's having. Look how happy he is. He really needed this time with his grandma and grandpa. I wonder if mom and dad kind of let grandma and grandpa know what was going on because they certainly seem to be solving this problem. The next morning, I found a blue rock next to my bed. Why did you give me a rock, grandma? I asked. It's a thankful rock. I have one too, grandma said. She showed me her green rock. Remember how happy the farm animals were with what they had and how happy we can be when we decide to appreciate what we have? I nodded. Then grandpa pulled his thankful rock from his pocket. That's what it means to have gratitude, to be thankful for everything in your life, said grandpa. Sometimes when I forget, I look at my thankful rock and I praise God for his goodness and for all the things I'm thankful for, like you, little critter. When I got home, little sister yelled, I wish I got to go to the farm instead of staying here in our boring old house. Mom looked at me. 
and I wish I had brand new purple overalls with silver sparkles like Bunny instead of these yucky old pink ones. And I wish, oh goodness, little sister is acting just like little critter had been acting before. I wonder how he feels watching her do that. Little sister, I said, I brought you something. I gave little sister a red thankful rock. I explained what grandma and grandpa told me about being thankful. When I start wishing for stuff, I look at the rock and I remember all the good stuff I already have, I said. Then I start feeling happy again. Try it, you'll see. Little sister gave me a hug. The next day, little sister took her thankful rock everywhere she went. She's got it while she's talking to her friend on the phone and while she's taking a bath. She even kept it on her pillow that night. I think she looks happier already. All right, kindergarten, it seems like being grateful comes really easy to little sister. I think little critter could learn a lot from her. And I think we can learn a lot from this book. We can learn a lot about gratitude and being thankful for the things that we do have, not the things that we wished we had. I hope you enjoyed the book. I'll see you next time. Bye.